Hello everyone, this is Amit here. Uh, last time uh, I created a video on how to build this or how did I build uh, the static web page. Uh, everything free and hosted on the GitHub. Right, so last time it was like the basic landing page of index and if you select on something like this and you it's it's for the note right it, things like that things has been improved a lot over the period and uh, I had a long wish uh, uh, of, 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 uh, thinking of like how do I I, I just want to have uh, a UI where you click and the backend course need to execute right from my background uh, Obviously, I was not aware of everything as I started from system admin, but that was my wish uh, and um, lately I could able to do something out of it and I thought of sharing it up. Obviously, there would be way better options and uh, way better way to do that, but I, I, I don't know whether I have reached up to that or not, but let me share whatever I've learned, right? So, uh, this is the code where uh, everything I put, okay? So if you see, I created a basic uh, simple main.go and uh, package this one main. Uh, this is a another module that I have created. We'll go through that. And uh, this one on that, okay? Uh, and then I have this net HTTP. So if you see, uh, I've created one function called hello world and the hello world is take a uh, do a response write up hello world right on your page and uh, I created another function called ls and the ls supposed to uh, get into this particular web list and uh, it should execute a list function within this particular web list and give the output all right and the last one is uh, the routing path so if you see the default routing I have given is uh, the static directory right this is the static directory where i have all the css uh, basic images javascript everything i have included including pages and a default landing page within that particular static directory right and i also made say that okay if someone is looking for this it should i mean dynamic hello world it should keep come to this particular uh, function which should return this one and if something someone is doing ls it should come up with this particular function in return it should execute this one the list function and give the output right and it should be hosted on 5555 okay so as of now this is okay let's go through a little bit now this uh, right on the last uh, tutorial i made it like how do i how how i make linked for example i made a link on this one saying like uh, the load function on this particular dynamic hello world if someone is clicking on this particular id and it should load for this particular or uh, load in the sense it should call this particular url uh, if someone is looking clicking on this particular id right now this is uh, defined on a particular page where i made it on this if i come over pages and come to this particular SRE tools page right so SRE tools page over here I have defined saying like let's come over here and to where I have defined yes so if you see this hello what ID then it should call for this one right uh, it should link as hello world it will display as hello world and if someone clicking on this one it should call this particular ID and this javascript has saying like if someone is clicked on this particular id it should load or call this particular url and if someone is calling this particular url uh, in the main world it says come this url you call hello http hello world function and hello world says like this one it's supposed to write and similar like that if i come over here if someone is uh, clicking on this um, let's say sre tools ls okay uh, so this particular ls right this ls uh, on the web page it should come to this particular id this id says that okay 
when you get someone right on this one it should load call this particular link and this link is again defined over here thing like uh, if someone is coming to this route it supposed to call ls function the ls function says okay you go ahead and keep call this web list list function and whatever the output is this let's come back to what is this web list list right let's say if i come over here and this list function i made it simple um okay it says this is the function called list it need to be exported that's why the first letter is capital okay and it's executing a particular script which is there on this program and as ls command dot sh you can put anything on that the output whatever is there it's on the by stream i format it a little bit so that it as for my css so that it will display the message uh, something like this uh, the basic h1 all those things and uh, the output output of ls it should come on the on the browser this output and uh, pre-formatted and uh, something like that right so if i come over here um, so I, I believe you got it how exactly this function is defined and all those things so if i come over here the ls uh, ls command right i've done a basic command you can put anything on this particular thing, right uh, you can execute a basic i mean simple direct command itself from your terminal or you can you can call any particular other site up script like it can be python it can be golang anything okay and if it is ls uh, i've made it simple it should say current time date and it should print this one that's pretty much and the ultimate goal is this all should display on your web page let's start the web app so let me come over here and type uh, okay so uh, type this one it's asking for permission on that particular network circuit opened it up come over here this is the page 5555 okay Enter. this the default static landing page has been loaded okay now i made this particular navigation on this particular page and now if i click on this ls right remember if i click on this ls hello world let's come over here again on this html page so if i click this hello world which is again this one okay it should call a javascript uh, having this particular id sre tools hello world so let me come over here i have included this particular js on the down right sr tools yes so it should come over here and whatever is there right hello world it should be this one and it should load that one on a particular web page id right you can go through this code on my uh, github which is hosted already the similar format css i've taken right it, it should call this particular endpoint now this particular endpoint is hosted on this particular endpoint it should call to the hello world and in return it should give the output on that one right let's click that okay see hello world so if i put something else uh, on this code okay let's say a myth and obviously I have to stop and start again okay hello let me come over here click on this ideally it's supposed to give hello Amit I think you are clear on this now let's go through this ls right so if i click on this ls obviously on the code i have pointed everything and if i go through the link and uh, id it comes over here js and it defines it says this call this particular dynamic ls and the dynamic ls uh, has been routed to this particular ls command right 
this ls function now this ls function as i explained earlier it is doing this call you can put anything now okay update the similar things a little bit different whatever you are putting on the code but eventually it is running this particular code which is supposed to run ls hyphen l a t r okay you can put anything on that for now let's go through like this and now if i come over here type ls click ls it's actually see it's pointing the current time and giving the output let's say again if i do it should be dynamic so now if you want you can put anything on your code and it's supposed to do let's stop it uh, for a quick demo okay i'm updating the code again and let's say what um CHO echo. I'm sorry, again, and let's say uptime. Uptime. If I can able to make it correct. Okay. Make sure uh, as this is by stream, so obviously the command output supposed to be over, and then it will display, right? Uh, so let me try this one so it should give me this one and at the end of time right um, so let me run again okay allow let me come over here reload the page it should be no issues though and type click on this ls okay see it's dynamic this particular time it's loaded and at the end it's also giving me this output okay i think uh, uh, that's all for today and hopefully from the earlier video on this particular website how i created the link everything and from this particular dynamic pages i believe you should be able to do way more and uh, make this click for doing all your programs for individual task and it should display and that's how you can run your all your backend course on a ui thank you